Shalom. All praise and glory goes to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakah Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect. This is Matthews, chapter 5, verse 15. And it reads Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your power which is in heaven. All right. So reading this, you know, it gives a better understanding on the life of Yahweh Shai. All right, because he came to give light unto the, the world of Israel. To the elect of Israel You know He came to set things straight Alright He came to uh, Reprove The house of Israel Alright he came ultimately for prophecy's sake Alright Because in, in the Old Testament It is written many times of Yahweh Shai Alright Like uh, for example in um, Isaiah 53 all right, and Yahweh Shai knew this. He knew that he would have to come and die for the sins of the elect. Okay? He knew that by doing that, he committed his purpose in life. All right, for his own sins, like it says in Hebrews 7 and 27, and for the sins of the elect. Matthew 5 and 17, Think not I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. All right, because Yahweh Shai, yes, he followed the law. All right, but in the Old Testament, all right, the the uh, the Old Covenant, there was laws. I mean, yeah, man, in the Old Covenant, there was prophecies of Yahweh Shai that were not uh, fulfilled. All right, and. and you know, a lot of those prophecies was harsh, man. Whereas Yahweh Shah would be put to death. Alright, Yahweh Shah would be uh scoffed at. He would have to come as a lamb. You know, even though he was a uh you know, the son of the the only begotten son of the heavenly father. You know. You know, hey, it was even prophesied that Yahweh Shah would um the Most High would not leave his soul in hell, man. Which which uh, means that he would basically uh, allow him to rise up on the third day. All right? So, Yahweh Shah believed in the Most High's process. I always uh, think about when Yahweh Shah prayed to the Lord. You know, he said, take this cup from me, Lord. He prayed three times. But he said, nevertheless, let thy will be done. You know? So that shows that Yahweh Shai loved Yahweh, man. Because the scriptures say, perfect love casteth out fear. And, and that's how we got to be, man. We got to believe in the Lord's uh, uh, process. You know? Isaiah 48 and 10. It says, Behold, I have refined thee, but not with silver. I have chosen thee through the furnace of affliction. So we got to believe in the hell that the Most High gives us, man. You know, it sounds crazy. But that's the only way you're going to last. You know, like, you got to have a positive mindset. Like, I, I, I um, sometimes I, I watch that show. Well, I used to watch that show called um, Surviving a Cut. All right? And once you forget of why you're going through that hell... You give up. You know? But Yahweh Shai, he went through the hell. Alright? Ultimately for Israel. And we going through that hell for our sins and for the elect. Okay? The scripture say what? Um, it's a it's a Sirach, there be many thoughts in a man's mind. Um, yet the counsel of the Lord that shall stand. You know, roughly paraphrasing. A man's mind. It's sometimes more uh, want to tell him more than seven watchmen. 
nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord, that shall stand. You know? So it's easy to drift off in your mind because the mind, what the scriptures also say, that the mind is desperately wicked. All right? But just as Yahweh's child, we have to believe in the Lord's process. All right? No matter how harsh it is, man. You know? And we understand that, you know, through, through the different things that the Most High sends us through. All right? That some, you know, certain things may not go your way, man. But then the Lord, you know, hey, the Lord, um, he's always there, man, no matter what. And, he, and you know, just pray for him to um, give you righteous instruction and direct your steps to right, man. Keep your mind right. You know, like the brother in uh, Indianapolis, GMS, get your mind right. Keep your mind right to understand, you know, why you're going through this, man. You know, it's only to make you uh, better. You know, so that was it, man. Something quick to the point. Hey, believe in the Lord's uh, process, man. You know, because through the process, that's going to allow us to uh, make it to the end. He that keep my words into the end, to, um, to him while I give a crown of life. You know, so this this book, as it, it gives us, you know what I'm saying, the, the uh, instruction manual. You know, like, Jake, they may say to their kids, I know it's like an old school saying. Like they always say, like, I'm not a perfect parent. Um, this this wasn't given to me uh by instruct you know, I wasn't um given instructions how to do this, you know? Justifying, you know, if they may teach their child the wrong way. But Yahweh uh by Shimmy Yahweh Shai gave us um righteous instructions. Alright, so we can do this this you know, walk this life um, And win just as Yahweh Shai did So with that, Lord willing you I can with edify Shalom to the elect